So both those orders, the IT modernization order and the cyber order, I think are very, very important and have the potential to really change the game. The key first piece of those orders, particularly the modernization order and cyber orders, is their focus on uh, holding leaders accountable. Henceforth, leaders of executive branch agencies are held accountable for cyber attacks or any actions that were not taken to remediate or plan for those cyber attacks. That's a big deal. Another key piece of the equation is truly empowering funding properly and most importantly raising the reporting uh, structure of the CIO into the highest ranks of government right into the head of uh, the management chain uh, right below the director. These are key things that make a very, very big difference because uh, CIOs need to have the budget, the authority to drive um, change. The executive order does this. And then the last thing I would say you know, in this is that the orders put a lot of focus on enterprise management, shared services, and then aligning all cyber functions around a single architecture so that you get away from a siloed approach which never works well. And then for sure, leveraging the cloud to achieve those kinds of objectives.